In this video, we'll be looking at how we're gonna be creating an email notification to be sent to someone who fills in one of your Microsoft Forms. That's both you as an individual who created that form and also how we can send an email to multiple people when someone completes a form as well. And this question has come up from one of our TikTok followers. So thanks for the question, Julia. And we're gonna try and hopefully answer that in this session by looking at Power Automate to be able to automate delivery of email to many people, whoever we choose, when someone fills in one of our forms. So let's get started with Microsoft Forms. And here's one of my manager feedback surveys I've already created previously. And I can easily set by the free dot menu in the settings, the ability to send an email to me that once someone then submits one of our form responses, there's a single checkbox there. And all I have to do is come out of the settings menu and the next person that fills in that form will generate an automatic email to me to notify that a new response has been received. In this example here, we can go ahead and fill in our Microsoft form, we can go ahead and then click on submit to submit the form response. We'll then see inside of Microsoft Outlook, we've now received a manager feedback survey directly to me. We've also a link to the results and also the person's name if it's been submitted as well. The super easy way there to have an email sent to you each time your form is completed. Great, so that was that first option around sending the email just to you personally as the form creator. But as we know, there are requirements to send it to multiple people who are not going to be the form owner. So how can we achieve that when there wasn't an option in Microsoft Forms? Well, we can use a tool named Power Automate. Power Automate allows us to create workflows and that workflow can be triggered when someone fills in one of your forms and can then send an email to whoever you like it can even include the responses on the email body so they don't have to follow the link or even have access to the form itself. So let's go and have a look at creating a brand new Power Automate flow to do exactly that so you can get that set up very quickly. So to get started, let's head to office.com and then click on the waffle or the app launcher in the top left and then select Power Automate. Power Automate is going to be the method we're going to use to send those multiple emails when someone submits our form. Once we do that, we can begin to create our Power Automate flow. So go to create on the left hand side and then select build your own. This is a new interface in Power Automate. So you can select forms on the right hand side and type that in and then select forms under choose a connector and when a new response is submitted. So when a new response is submitted on a form, that'll be our trigger point for our workflow. Then under choose a connector again, we can go and type in forms under the search box to find all of the actions available to us in Microsoft Forms. So here we'll now see that we can now select Microsoft Forms and then get response details. Now once we do that and then click on next, we then have this page appear. This allows our trigger and our first action. So in the drop down for when a new response is submitted, I can go and select the form name itself in the drop down. We can then select get response details and we can then again select the form ID, so management feedback survey. And once we've done that, we're also gonna select the response ID as well. So this action here will get that response detail, including all of that information included within the response. So when we select response ID, we can then select on the right the response ID, and there we go. Now at this point, we're going to also need to send an email. So we're gonna to have to click new step and in the search box, type in the word Outlook. We then can select Office 365 Outlook from the connector here. And within that, we can now select to send an email, brackets V2. In doing so, we then have this dialog appear, which allows us to define who the email has been sent to. We can input someone's name internally or an external email address. And I've added three people into the email and also added a subject line. Now you can see that in here as well, when we left click, we can also select dynamic content and they are all of the responses that we receive for this particular form. So once I then fill in that form, that will also have the answer that I've submitted. So I can easily insert them by left clicking on them in addition to what I put in the copy of the email. I can also look at advanced options and here I can also set things like the importance, CC or BCC options for the email itself. But we're all done here, we're gonna click on save. So that's now been saved. In the top of the screen, you'll see it's automatic gets rid of a crazy name here. I'm gonna overtype it and put manager feedback. But if I now go ahead and test this new process by filling in a Microsoft form, as we can see here, 
An email was then immediately sent from my account as Alex to the three people I've defined, including the information within our email body. We can also go back into Power Automate and select My Flows and click into that flow. And you can also see that this flow succeeded. It took just two seconds to run and send that email out to those three people. That's how you can easily create a Power Automate flow to send an email to multiple people once a response is received and even include the information submitted on that form within the email body itself. And that's it. We covered two great options there to send email notifications using Microsoft Forms, both in the settings dialog and in Power Automate as well to provide additional capability. We hope you like this video. If you do, we'd love it if you hit the like button and even better, follow some more great content in the future. And we'll be seeing you in the next one.